In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create PDF documents from Google Form responses and send them as email attachments to the person who submitted the form. We'll automate this process using Document Studio. So, if you do not have the add-on installed already, please download it by following this link. It's also available in the description box below. Let's assume you run a company and you need to get non-disclosure agreements signed by your clients. You've created this Google form in which the clients have to fill out their name, company and email address. This is a file upload question where the clients will upload their signatures. These signatures will be embedded in the generated PDF. We also have a checkbox here to agree to the terms and conditions. Now let's switch to Google Docs where we have created a template for the non-disclosure agreement. This is how the final document would look like. But we want the document to be different for each form response and thus we'll replace the variable fields here with markers. These markers are the question titles in the Google form and will be replaced with answers submitted by the form respondent. These markers should be enclosed in double curly braces and make sure that the fields exactly match the question title in the Google form. So far, we've only added markers for text-based form answers. But if you were to embed an image that was uploaded in the Google form, the syntax is slightly different. The first part indicates that the marker will be replaced with an inline image. The second part says signature. This is the exact title of the file upload question in the Google form. You can also adjust the size of the embedded image by mentioning the width in the marker. If you'd like to learn more about embedding images in Document Studio, we'll leave a link to the documentation in the description box. Now that our document template is ready, let's create a workflow in Document Studio to automatically create the document and send it as an email attachment to the form submitter. Launch the add-on inside Google Forms by clicking on this puzzle icon. Create a new workflow and give it a descriptive name. If you want the workflow to run only if certain conditions are met, you can specify that criteria here. In this example, the document should be generated only if the client has checked the I agree option in the Google form. So let's specify that condition here. Document Studio is a versatile Google add-on that can integrate with popular apps including Airtable, Trello, WhatsApp and many more. Since we are looking to create a PDF file from Google Form Responses, we'll select the Create File task. The first step is to select the Google Doc template that we have created earlier. You will notice that as soon as we select the template, the add-on reads the document to check how many markers are available and lists them here. The next step would be to choose the Google Drive folder where you want the PDF files to be saved. You also have the option to save the files inside subfolders created inside the parent folder. These subfolders can be named using dynamic markers based on the form answers. Here I have specified the subfolder path as signed NDAs slash year. The year marker will be replaced with the current year so that the final documents would be organized in year wise folders. In this field, you can specify how you want the files to be named. We'll use dynamic markers to name the file based on Google Form responses. One of the most unique features of Document Studio is that you can encrypt and password protect your generated PDF documents. You can either specify a common password for all the PDF documents or for added security, generate a unique password for each document by using dynamic markers. Now that we have a task to create PDF documents based on the answers submitted in the Google form, let's add another task to email these documents to the form submitter as an attachment. Select said email from the list of tasks and select Gmail as the email service provider. We'll specify the sender's name. 
For the email recipient field, we'll select the Google form question that collects their email addresses. You may also add one or more email recipients in the two CC and BCC fields. Now let's write the email template. Specify the subject and the message body. You can use markers in the template to create a personalized email. You can also embed images like your company logo in the email message body by clicking on the image icon. The email template is now ready. But before you save this task, make sure that this option, Attach all merged files generated in this workflow, is checked. This will ensure that the document generated in the previous task is attached with this email. The last step is to save this workflow. By default, the workflow will be triggered automatically whenever a new response is received. Now that we have set up the workflow, let's run a quick test to check whether the files are being generated properly. I'll fill the Google form with some sample answers and submit it. I'll switch to Gmail and here is the email sent out to the client with the agreement file attached as PDF. You can see that this is password protected, so I'll enter the password. And here is the final document. Notice that all the markers have been replaced with the form answers and the signature has been embedded perfectly in the document. So this is how you can use Document Studio to create PDF files from Google Form Responses. If you wish to create certificates in bulk through Google Sheets, we have a detailed tutorial on our channel. Do not forget to check that out as well. And do visit our website digitalinspiration.com for more such useful add-ons for Google Sheets and Google Forms.